Sometimes hype for a movie is so great, it's scary. <laughs> Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hyped horror movies. For this list, we're taking a look at scary movies from the 90s onward that garnered lots of hype through intense marketing and sheer anticipation. Whether the film ended up being good or bad doesn't matter, as long as the publicity preceding it had everybody pumped up. This is part of a series of videos focusing on the most hyped movies from various genres. If you are thinking of seeing this film alone, don't. Number 10, Halloween. But pure evil. With John Carpenter's Halloween being a perennial classic, a new version was about as necessary as the original seven sequels. And reinvents a legend. <laughs> Nevertheless, the trailer for the 2007 reimagining had many horror fans convinced that this could be a stylish, gritty, and fresh successor to the definitive slasher flick. Michael? With Rob Zombie helming the project, and Malcolm McDowell perfectly cast as Dr. Samuel Loomis. These are the eyes of a psychopath. It actually looked like the film was going to break the horror remake curse. But would the movie be a trick or a treat? Halloween. Number 9. Grindhouse. If you adore B-movies, exploitation films, and double features, the trailer for Grindhouse blew your mind. Even if you weren't familiar with the term Grindhouse, it was hard not to be intrigued by the prospect of Robert Rodriguez and Quentin Tarantino directing a back-to-back -back cinematic extravaganza. <laughs> Talents like Eli Roth, Rob Zombie, and Edgar Wright were also attached to the project, each producing a shoddily loving fake trailer. Although Grindhouse had rave reviews and strong buzz on its side, the film was unfortunately overlooked and bombed at the box office. Ladies, that was fun! Number 8, Devil. Where I come from, we call it the Devil's Meeting. Remember when M. Night Shyamalan's name was enough to sell a picture? Well, people have since come to realize that he's not the modern Hitchcock we built him up to be. Wait, so you've been trained to kill people? Oorah. Regardless, many felt he might find redemption in the initial installment to his proposed The Night Chronicles trilogy. <laughs> Looking like something out of the Twilight Zone, the Shyamalan-produced supernatural horror depicted five people getting stuck in an elevator with the devil hidden among them. I need to be in that elevator right now, move! Despite the engaging setup, audiences ultimately argued that Devil did not live up to its potential. What a twist. The one night when we beat the living shit out of that twist. Number 7, The Purge. Just remember all the good The Purge does, okay? The premise for The Purge makes about as much sense as, well, the devil singling out five people in an elevator. This is your emergency broadcast system, announcing the commencement of the annual purge, sanctioned by the US government. Still, the notion of crime being legalized for 12 hours had audiences curious. The advertisements promised a groundbreaking social commentary on government, human nature, and 21st century America's changing ways. You need to return him to us. Alive. So we may purge as we are entitled. Granted, this idea would never happen in real life. The hype surrounding the film, however, got a lot of people asking, what if The Purge was real? Their answers were probably more interesting than the movie we ultimately got. Please just let us purge. Toodaloo, Sandit. Number 6. Alien vs. Predator Given the numerous Alien vs. Predator comics, video games, and novels, Fans wondered for the longest time if these two species would ever butt heads on the big screen. Their prayers were answered when the teaser for AVP hit, implying that whoever won this anticipated battle, humanity would lose. Oh. 
Although Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sigourney Weaver weren't making appearances, it didn't really matter. All we needed to know was that the Xenomorph and Yaucha would finally be starring together after spending decades in development hell. Number 5. Hostel Hostel benefited from being released less than a year after Saw when the demand for torture porn was at an all-time high among mainstream audiences. Why? I always wanted to be a surgeon. While Eli Roth directed Hostel, Quentin Tarantino's producer credit is what caught audiences' attention. People were additionally sucked in by the film's premise, which concerns hapless backpackers at the raw end of a deal between a European torture facility and wealthy clients looking to feed their sick urges. Earning better-than-expected reviews, Hostel had little trouble opening at number one at the box office. Number four. Freddy vs. Jason. I became something much, much worse. The stuff nightmares are made of. This long awaited crossover event brought two of the horror genre's greatest icons together for the ultimate slasher showdown. <laughs> the marketing campaign built their fight up as if Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees were competing for the World Heavyweight Championship. They even appeared at Bally's Las Vegas Hotel for a weigh-in. That's just one of the several entertaining interviews the two had leading up to the film's release. Fine! Jason, why do you kill? Well, you know, it's it just lack of good things to do. I think, you know, things to do on a Saturday night. You know. Whether you placed your bet on Freddy or Jason, we were all rooting for the flick to kick ass. Until then, <laughs> I'll let Jason have some fun. Number three. The Sixth Sense. Here's how it works. I read your mind. While The Sixth Sense had a bankable lead and solid advertising, the film didn't accumulate mega hype until after its opening weekend. Why? Because of that immortal surprise ending everybody now knows about. But that still needs to be headlined by a spoiler alert whenever discussed. They don't know they're dead. Not since Psycho has a film done a better job at keeping its secrets under wraps then sucking the masses in with incredible word of mouth. Please tell me. Oh, please. The Sixth Sense only got more buzzworthy over time, remaining number one at the box office for five consecutive weeks. I see dead people. Number two, paranormal activity. It seems to me that that's what we're dealing with, something that's basically connected to you. Paranormal Activity started off as an underground cult film that slowly became a sought-after commodity. And I would see the, um, I guess you'd call it like the, like a, just this mass, like the shadowy just figure that would be at the foot of my bed. And it was always at the foot of my bed, it was never at the foot of her bed, but she did see it. Rather than spending countless millions on a big ad campaign, the film's revolutionary marketing instead relied on audiences to get the word out. The trailer took an unconventional approach by showing footage of an audience's horrified reaction to the film at a free screening. With everybody wanting to know if it really was the scariest movie ever, Paranormal Activity only took four days to reach one million demands on Eventful.com and to achieve a wide release. Before we build up our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Camilla got in touch with a medium. We learned from her that the doll was possessed by a girl named Annabelle Higgins. She had lost her parents and had taken a liking to my doll. Number 1. The Blair Witch Project Have you ever heard of the Blair Witch? Although the campaign for paranormal activity was ingenious, 
That film never would have broken out had it not been for the Blair Witch Project. I don't, think, I don't want to go about... cheesy. I want to really avoid any cheese. Utilizing the internet to produce hype, the studio marketed this low-budget horror picture as a documentary. Pretty creepy stuff. Uh -huh. I, I believe there's something happening with her. And you think that it's possible that she's still up there now? I don't go up there. Having come out years before found footage flicks became a popular trend, many audiences were inclined to believe them. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me get my jeans on. The performances and cinematography represented in the trailer only made these claims more convincing. Tell me where you are, Josh! Even if you didn't buy into such accusations, you most definitely bought a ticket to see the movie. I love you, Mom. And Dad. I'm so sorry. Do you agree with our list? <laughs> Stupid bitch! It's too late! What horror flicks were you psyched to see based on all the hype? Halloween. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Rejoice!